Hey guys, it's Thursday, August 27th. The time is 6.48 p.m. and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. I'm here in front of the Humber College Lakeshore East Campus, which is located on the former grounds of the old Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital. And I'm currently walking south on Colonel Samuel Smith Park Drive. And the plan for this walk is to head down into Sam Smith Park and find my way to a place that I've heard is quite special, but I've never actually been. And that's called Wimbrell Point, where supposedly there's a fantastic view of the city of Toronto waiting for us. I have passed through here before on my bicycle traveling east to west and vice versa, but I haven't actually walked through this park and taken a look at the point where we're heading to, if I can find it. And that's the new campus of Father John Redmond School. The old one used to be located to the west of here, north of Lakeshore. And if I'm not mistaken, that's where they filmed the original Degrassi Junior High. Not this location, but the other one. But as part of the old Queen Street Psychiatric Hospital, that is where they filmed part of Police Academy 1, as well as a few of its sequels and a number of other movies and TV shows. I talked about this psychiatric hospital a bit more in my video where I do a walk through the Long Branch area which sits <laughs> sits just to the uh, west of here and if you're to follow the street we're walking down in the other direction up to Lakeshore. Once you cross Lakeshore, it'll become Kipling Avenue, which you can take up to the subway. And I believe we're in Sam Smith Park, which is known for having a figure eight outdoor skating track, which of course would only be open in the winter time. It's also well known among bird watchers, at least from what I've read about it. I really don't know much at all about this place, which is part of the fun and exploring it for the first time. I quickly looked at it on maps on my way over and there doesn't seem to be a direct route to the point where we're heading. But as long as I keep heading south, I should be able to find it. And this park was named after Colonel Sam Smith. And I think he was granted this parcel of land back in the 1800s. And he actually owned most of the land that covers what's now known as Long Branch. And I don't think this park became a thing until after the psychiatric hospital had closed. Probably well after that, as the hospital closed in 1979 and Humber College moved into the area in the early 90s.
And I spent a fair bit of time in this area as a kid, and I don't ever recall coming to this park, as I don't think it existed back then. Looks like there's a marina just to the right here. And I did read that they do have carnival-like events in this park every year. Probably not this year with the virus and all. There's also jazz events. Maybe I'll walk just a bit to the side. And back in the 1800s, this was considered cottage country for the city of Toronto. Perhaps someone can fill us in on the comments what these boxes are used for. I'm assuming they're some type of bird feeder. Possibly for the Wimbrel, which I believe is a type of bird that this point we're heading to was named after. That's providing I can find it.
This seems to be the right direction. Although we've got a fork in the road up ahead. And I think that's it, just up ahead. It's easy to see why so many people have made their way down here on a Thursday evening.
there's a look to the east. That's Mississauga just on the right, and Burlington and Hamilton straight ahead. And somewhere way off over there is Niagara Falls. Kind of battling the sun a bit in this direction, but the park does go on for quite a bit. If you're looking for a peaceful getaway within the city, with a spectacular skyline view to go along with it, one that certainly rivals the view you'll get from Tommy Thompson Park or even Riverdale. This might be worth your trip. To get here, you could take the 501 Queen Street streetcar and get off at Kipling and then just make the walk south. Or you could take the subway to Kipling Station and take the Kipling bus south down to where the bus terminates, which is right where I started this walk. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this walk. There are links to Instagram and my Patreon account if you wish to support the channel in the description. Have yourself a great day.